Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be making a video of ice die swatches for this Jacquard MX Procyon die kit. But first, let's do a quick unboxing. This is the Procyon MX die 13 color set. All right, so first it comes with a couple packs of soda ash and then here are all the dyes in here. So it can be used for tie dye, immersion dyeing, batik, and ice dyeing, it says. This is marine violet, fire engine red, emerald green, cobalt blue, jet black, chocolate brown, turquoise, magenta, antique gold, golden yellow, medium blue, fuchsia, and brilliant orange. Here it comes with some instructions. Oh, and it has a color swatch card. So it doesn't come with all these colors, but you can at least look up the colors that you have. So then there's instructions here for regular tie dyeing, tub dyeing, machine washing, machine dyeing, printing or painting, tub dyeing, thickener. It recommends washing with Synthropol. Okay. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried this 13 set piece. I have put the link down below for you so you can check it out if you want to get this yourself. I'm excited to give it a try. So first what I'm going to do is take my extra sheeting fabric and this is the same sheeting fabric I used in my other swatch videos which I'll put down in the description for you if you're interested in seeing more swatches. What I'm doing is I'm cutting them into squares probably about five by seven or so and this is pre-washed 100% cotton fabric and then I'm going to put in my soda ash solution I mixed in about a half a cup of soda ash to a gallon of water and I'm just going to soak these pieces in there for about 20 minutes before I do anything else the while the soda ash is soaking I'm going to start to set up my little um cups so this is a small pint size container that I've cut out some holes and then I'm just gonna put it in a quart size container and I have one for each color. So I use these over and over again for doing dye swatches. They come in here. So I have my dyes here and then I also have some post-its where I'm gonna label each of these to make sure that I keep track of what is what, that will really help me. The reason I like to make ice dye swatches is that the result can be different from the tie dye result. The swatches are also helpful if I run out of the color and I wanna reorder the color and I remember what it looked like. All right, so it's been 20 minutes and my swatches are ready to wring out and put in my little containers. So I'm gonna get my mask on and get going. So next I'm going to wring out my swatches and put one into each container. I wanted to let you know that I have a free downloadable PDF of all of these swatches on my website and I will put the link for that down in the description below. I also have multiple videos about making ice dye swatches with different kits and different colors and brands. So I will link those at the end of this video and also in the description. So after I get each cup filled with a scrunch swatch, I'm gonna put a couple of ice cubes on top. I don't need a ton of ice because it's just such a small piece of fabric and I just need enough to get the effect. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have ever made ice dye swatches with any kits and how they turned out. So now it's time to put my dye onto my swatches. So if you know any of my other ice dye techniques, you know I like to use plastic knives to put the dye on. So I'm just putting a tiny bit of dye on top of the ice with a new plastic knife for each color so that I don't contaminate any of my dyes. This is a brand new set so I want to keep it fresh. After I get them all set up I'm going to leave them for 24 hours and you can kind of see how the colors are starting to melt and split a little bit and I have my labels on all of them so that I don't get them mixed up. So it's the next morning and you can see all the ice has melted. I'm gonna let it sit for a full 24 hours just to let the dye 
completely soak into the fibers. So I'll leave it for another couple hours and then um, I'll rinse them. But they look great. So now I am going to rinse out all of these swatches and I took a picture of each one with their label so that I wouldn't mix them up. I rinse with cold until the water runs clear and then I switch to hot water and add Synthrapol, which is also known as Dyer's detergent. Dyer's detergent helps to keep the dye from over dyeing the other colors and mixing it into a muddy color. So it keeps the colors nice and bright and it keeps the resist nice and white. After I washed them, I dried them on hot and then I ironed them and put my labels on them. I'm using my handy dandy label maker, which I adore. I use it all the time to keep my studio nice and organized and I use it for all of my swatches. And now, of course, we need to do a little slideshow of all the results. So I think that these turned out really nice. They had some really pretty splits for some of the colors, and some of them were just sort of the color. But I think this is a really nice kit if you want to get like a full range of rainbow type of colors. My one criticism is that some of the colors are a little bit close, especially the yellows and some of the reds. Also, the turquoise is probably not a good color for ice dyeing, but the other colors of blue are really nice and I was specifically looking for some more blue colors. Let me know down in the comments if you have any blues that you really love. And again, if you want to download a PDF of these swatches, all these photos, they're high res, you can go to my website and download it for free. I'll put the link in the description down below. Let me know down in the comments which color swatch you guys think is your favorite. My favorite is probably the emerald green because it has sort of a fun lime color. Also a friendly reminder to please hit the like button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to go and follow me on my social medias at Onyx Art Studios and check out my website for the swatches and also I have online dyeing workshops. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out these other videos. I have multiple videos about making swatches and different colors of dye, as well as an entire ice dye. I have a lot of tutorials on my channel about different types of dyeing that will give you a lot of different inspiration. So if you make anything on my channel, be sure to tag me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!